what we've been seeing is that actually um, even young, healthy individuals do benefit mentally from following a ketogenic diet. We wanted to show that, first of all, there was an effect on the brain using a ketogenic diet, that in fact, this effect seemed to be able to be replicated with exogenous ketones, that the effects were beneficial. The next stage after the proof of concept was to start probing more deeply the mechanism. So we have a series now of animal studies that are asking what does it mean for those networks to be stable, more stable, less stable? Why is it that the ketones are making those networks more stable or less stable? So there are a whole series of mechanism studies um, that I hope to be able to present in the future. And then the last stage, um, or at least the next stage, is to really focus more on real life clinical scenarios where we have people utilizing a ketogenic diet or exogenous ketones over longer periods of time in a more realistic setting. Um, so over the course of a month or six months, rather than just a week or once, um, to see what impact this might have over the longer term. And I don't think right now we have the data to be able to answer that question because exogenous ketones are, are relatively recent as a sort of a commercially available product. Um, but the other aspect, of course, I'd like to look at is, um, is sleep. Because even though we have good reason to believe that it should have some specific effect, at the end of the day, as scientists, we actually have to test it. I think that there's potential uh, therapeutic value in exogenous ketones as we age, uh, really on two um, main aspects. One is around the um, control or the lowering of blood sugar responses to ingestion of, of carbohydrate containing meals, um, and also around the potential anabolic or anti-catabolic effects in support of exercise training or the opposite, which would be periods of, of inactivity. I think the circumstantial evidence uh, in terms of pathways that ketones activate, in terms of evidence that's been uh, generated in mice, would be very promising for both of those applications. So it's just a case of when the human studies start, I think.